Hey viewers, welcome back to another educational video. Today we are diving into fascinating world of Java and strings. And guess what? We are making it super easy with the help of some cool animations. Meet Jack, our 3D animation buddy. He is taking us to his lab to explore how strings work in Java. Jack uses strings a lot in his coding adventure, but he is curious how does Java handle them in its memory. So the questions are, how does Java manage strings, what is the thing called immutability, and what exactly is a string pool? Let's learn together. Now inside the magical reel of JVM, Java Virtual Machine, there is something called heap memory. Whenever we write a string, it finds its cozy spot inside the string pool. The string pool is like a VIP club for all the string values. Here is the cool part. If we have two different variables with the same value, Java is smart. It saves the value only once in the string pool and both variables share the address of that value. But wait, there's a twist. If we create a string with the new keyword, it won't join the pool party. No, it will find its own space somewhere in the heap memory. And that is how JVM works its magic with strings. Now let's discuss about immutability. Immutability refers to the property of an object that prevents its state from being modified. What does it mean? Imagine you are cruising through your code and you realize that car is no longer BMW, it's Honda now. How the JVM heap memory will behave in this case? Well, it will not update the value of BMW inside the heap memory. Instead, it will call the value Honda. Hey Honda, come join the pool party. Here we go. But wait, there is a question. What string pool will do with our old friend BMW? Well, it will do nothing with BMW. BMW will stay in the string pool until the Java garbage collector comes and remove it. Now here comes a threat. Don't store your password inside the strings. Because if someone have the memory dump, he can get those values. It's all about the security. So avoid using strings for password instead using character arrays. But still, Jack is confused about how these variable knows the memory address of values. Well, apart from heap memory, there is another memory known as stack memory, which holds your variable name and value address of heap memory. We will discuss the stack memory in any other videos. That's a different topic. Let's recall what we have learned in this video. First of all, how Java handles strings. Inside JVM, there is a heap memory. And inside heap memory, there is a string pool. All of the string values are stored inside the string pool. These values are unique. If two different variables have the same value, the heap memory contains only one value. Both of the variables have the same address. If we create a string with a new keyword, it will store outside the string pool inside the heap memory. Secondly, string immutability. String immutability is when we change any string value inside Java code, the string pool doesn't update that value. Instead, it inserts a new value. So it means once the string is created, we cannot update, modify or delete it. We have to create a new value inside the string pool. And the previous value is waiting for the garbage collector. Until then, it will stay inside the string pool and anyone can access that value if they have memory done. Jack is satisfied with this basic explanation. If you do, subscribe the channel like Jack did. All right. That's a wrap on how Java does its string magic from handling strings to the cool pool parties and the unchanging vibes of immutability. If you enjoyed this tech journey, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more coding adventures. Until next time, happy coding and bye for now.